Dreams. The love of music collide. Where independent musicians emerge into the spotlight. This is Indie Beginnings. I'm a French Canadian uh, uh, refugee. Actually, my sister and I, who wasn't there at the shows, uh, she's having a little bit of legal trouble as, as well as myself because, well, uh, that's why we started playing music. We uh, kind of got a little bit of trouble with our paperwork and we had to uh, gain some money to pay back for the lawyer expenses. So we're like, well, what can we do? And I guess we chose to make a fool of ourselves. Yeah, so left uh, Canada a few years ago, came to Akron, uh, just hop, skip, and jump over the lake. Uh, no, no, don't, don't ask me to speak any French, it's a filthy language. A man controlled by lunacy and demons, trying desperately to suppress the urges of his mindless chaos. A soul lost in his own world, a world alone and desperate. This is the story of Carol Augustine. The music is not to appreciate the vibrations going through your ear. It's more the visual stimulus or stimuli that uh, you see when I perform. I wouldn't consider myself an artist and it's funny that you kind of point that out that I'm more of a comedian because like I said, I'm just an entertainer. My songs are really short uh, just because before you can start to hate the song, it's over. It's just kind of like slaps to the face, like I'm dueling with the audience, I'm taking off my leather glove and slapping you across the cheeks. And then I proceed myself to pull down my pants and slap my own cheeks for your entertainment. And after a couple years of writing songs, I haven't been in the game that long, but uh, you know, it comes to find out that writing a song is just like an algebraic equation. You have your intros, your verses, your pre-courses, your choruses, your bridges, and your outros. And if you can set them up correctly, uh, you've got one hell of a song. The many songs that I've written and performed, there is two that people like. So I may not be that great at my algebra, all right, I'll, I can do the equation. Okay. I could probably charge for this at some musician conference, but you know, it's for the kids. I'm always wanting to help out. Charity work. Here is the equation to writing a hit. I'm gonna say X is your hit. Now, there we got. So we're gonna start off with our intro. And we've got pre-chorus, deduct the amount of suckiness in your song times your outro squared, and then we're going to go to the 49th power, then uh, deduct again suckiness, uh, then we're going to add a little bit of spice, we're going to hit our chorus hard, so hard that we're going to go to the 50th power on this plus non-suckiness plus outro. Now, as you can tell, I don't have a verse up there, and I've never actually finished this equation. I probably should take some math courses. Well, I'm glad you asked that question about the other night playing the show, and you used the word atrocity. So, I'm guessing you're thinking this segment's probably going to be a good one for your show. Uh, but what happened to allude me to pretty much sending your cameraman to the hospital? Um, let's just say mistakes, anger, and then release. So I figured it would be good to hook him in with some 
and kicks. I get that uh, criticism, and it's it's good criticism that uh, my acoustic shows are much different. Uh, just more tame, you know. You strap on an electric guitar, you have to go with that genre. You want to sit there and dance, rock out. You go watch a rock show, and you go watch somebody kick the shit out of a cameraman. What's that? Substance abuse? Yeah, substance abuse. You have a problem. Substance abuse. Uh, what was the question again? Substance abuse. Can I, can, I'll, I'll refer to the charts. Uh, no, no, I don't have a, have a substance abuse problem. It's all an act, it's all for show. Uh, a lot of times I come wearing tourniquets to my shows just because it gives a reason for people to be like, wow, this guy is crazy. Why is he acting so ridiculous and so extreme, eccentric, and they see me wearing a tourniquet or, I don't know, Vomiting on stage, done that before. Uh, and, you know, it hits them. It's like, this guy's messed up on drugs. It makes sense. And that's what they want to come see. They want to see people on drugs because people don't do drugs. I myself do not do drugs. I don't think anybody in the United States does drugs. So it's very interesting for someone to think that they're watching somebody under the influence of narcotics.